So, hello, YouTube, YouTube people out there. How y'all doing? Um, just coming at y'all. Um, had some things on my mind I wanted to talk about. Just kind of cover a little bit. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Janet. And, um, I'm known, you know, also by the name of Shay, by my friends, loved one, and family. I really didn't know how to, to, um, I didn't have a topic, you know, I have a topic, but I don't know, a, you know, how to, to, um, to, um, well, okay, let me tell you what the topic is, okay? The topic is, be yourself. Be yourself. Um... Me, um, I've been in the LGBT community, um, for some time. First, let me say that I knew that I was a lesbian since I was three years old. Didn't have the term, but didn't know what it was. Didn't understand it, but I knew that I liked girls pretty early on in life, okay? A lot of people say, well, how would you know? You're a kid. You're a baby. How would you know you like girls? Um, is this something that you see? You, you see somebody, you know, act in that manner or, you know, what brought you into that point and that, you know, to get you to that place? No, I didn't see any of that. Um, in fact, at that time, um, I didn't understand it. I just knew that I looked at girls in the same way that little boys looked at girls. You know, ooh, that's my girlfriend. You know, I knew that. You ain't supposed to say that. That's my friend, mama. That's my friend. We play together. We play with dolls. I don't play with dolls. I never play with dolls. I play with Tonka trucks and Tyco racing sets. My thing was music. Anything I had to do with music, I was in. Dolls and stuff like that. It's not something I did. But getting back to what I was saying, I didn't see anybody do, you know, operating that in like that or anything like that. I grew up with older parents. My parents were old enough to be my great-grandparents. My mother, you know, a very spiritual woman, you know, great woman of faith, you know, um, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noonday, Jesus when the sun go down, you know, at church Sunday morning, uh, afternoon program sometime, come back Sunday night service, come back Tuesday night um, prayer service, uh, um, Friday night uh, whatever service they had, Wednesday night, something else. I mean, it was always something going on. And I was right there with her. Always with her, you know. Um, so, no, my family didn't grow up like that. My father was a professional musician. Um, I'm very strong and heavy into music. Um, so, I mean, as it relates to that, no. My first crush was a TV crush, and that was uh, Mary, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> You know, um, I, the reason why I say I was like three years old was because I realized when my mom took me to school, I was going to head start and my mom tried to leave me going to school. It was only half a day, but I wasn't used to being separated from my mother. So she was trying to get me, oh, you know, all the kids here, you know, go ahead. And mommy, come back and come and get you. No, I wasn't feeling that. Teacher tried to get me to stay, um... My mom tried to, you know, turn her back and leave and run while I had my back turned and I chased her. You know, she had to come back. Teacher offered me up a lollipop. You know, here, here you are. You know, here, here's a lollipop for you. Just be good. You know, you know, mommy's going to be, you know, you know, she'll come back and get you. Da, 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 da. I didn't care about none of that. I didn't want the sucker. I didn't want the lollipop. None of that. I wanted my mama. So um, that didn't work. Then all of a sudden, this little girl come over there holding his little doll. She was a cute little girl. Had long hair and pretty ponytails with the with the little yarn ribbons and little barrettes on the end and had a little dangly cute earrings in. and she said hi you want to come play had a little doll in her hand and I said yeah then suddenly I'm like okay bye mama and in my mind it's like well you know I saw something different and and it, you know I didn't care about playing with no doll I didn't want to play with no doll I saw her and I was like okay that was enough to make me want to stay. So I don't know how to explain that. Some of you might say, well, that don't mean that. Maybe you just liked her as a friend. Don't tell me how I liked her. To me, in my mind, I want her to be my girlfriend. Now, you tell me, three years old, 
I don't need nobody trying to play, you know, psychologists or whatever with me or whatever. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you this is my truth. So for a long time, I never said anything to anybody about anything like that, grew older or whatever. And it was just like out of sight, out of mind. Didn't think like that, whatever. Time grew on. It didn't go away. But I grew up in a, in a religion where you're going to hell. Holiness or hell. If you don't, you know, do things like what the Bible say do. And, you know, um, um, I knew at that time, I didn't know, you know, Ken's supposed to be with Barbie. You know, not 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 Ken and another dude. You know what I'm saying? So right there, let me know. Okay, I didn't talk about it. I didn't discuss it or whatever. I didn't play with dolls, so I didn't really even care about Ken or Barbie. But what I did know is that as I gotten older, my attraction for females or girls grew. So you know, I grew up with five brothers. I didn't have any sisters. I grew up with five brothers, and so. Me having five brothers, I you know we I was rough housed a lot, you know and and you know I was taught how to fight, you know so um, I would have little you know my friends and neighborhood friends or people that I knew stuff like that little girls that I did play with and I said you should ask your mom if you stay all night you know at my house just come stay all night with me you know and we can you know play and stuff and she's like okay I'll ask her go ask her mom and she come back my mom said. No, I can't stay all night because you have too many boys in your house. <laughs> I'm like, duh. It ain't my brothers your mama need to be worrying about. <laughs> Not that I was going to try anything or anything like that, but I just liked her. You know what I'm saying? But it was crazy. So, but anyway, you know, I'm saying as I got older, going through the whole church mode, holiness of hell, going to church, you know, um, Believe in all of the Bible scriptures and, oh, I got to do it like this. No, God ain't going to be pleased with my life if I do this or do that. So I got to live right. I got to put that aside. I got to allow myself to die and pick up being, you know, being Christ-like. That was my mindset. I played in the church as a kid. I played the piano. I played the organ. I played the drums. I sang. I trained the choirs. I directed the choirs. You know, I did all of that. I taught Sunday school. Um, at some point, I even, you know, became a licensed minister, preacher, you know. Um, so all of that and all of that, you know, putting putting me aside and saying, no, 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 no. God ain't going to be pleased. You're going to go to hell. You don't want that. So it came um, to a point to where I had to say, you know what, I'm not happy. And I thought at one point when they cried deliverance, oh, God can deliver you from that. God can deliver you. And at one point, I, you know, I went in the name of deliverance, of total deliverance. And I believed that because I wanted to have faith that God delivered me. And I just had to wing away from all of the things, those thoughts, the people, and all of that, and just start getting, you know, drowned in the Bible and the Word of God and preaching and teaching and fasting and seeking and, you know, Everything, everything I knew to do, I did it. But at the end of the day, if I had to be honest with myself, I had to say, you know what, it was not gone. I can't say the desire was gone. So, yeah, my thing was this. People would always say, you know what the Bible says, that you know, they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Well, if that is true, then that is not my truth. You know, my truth is I like girls. My truth is I desire to be with them the same way a man desires to be with them. You know what I'm saying? So am I lying? Because the Bible also says that, you know, um, if you, you know, if you, if you, you, you got to come before God and, 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 and being real and being truth. And if you, if you, if you lie, then God won't even hear your prayers. So, why would I bother praying if I feel like he ain't even going to hear my prayers if I'm regarding iniquity, as they call it, in my heart? It wasn't iniquity to me. It was just who I am. If I'm regarding iniquity in my heart, God is not going to hear me. That was just a hurtful thing, you know. But if I lie, you know, um, you're not going to hear me. But if I come into you with truth, the church is going to deny me. 
Oh, come real. You got to come real with God. I'm coming real with God. I'm coming. It's you that have a problem with me. So, you know, I eliminated all that by saying, you know what? I'm going to live my life and I'm going to be happy and let God deal with me however he's going to deal with me. I wasn't afraid anymore. So, I'm just saying to you out there, be yourself. I don't care. My my truth is, is my truth. And I don't care who didn't like it. If my mother turned her back on me, if my father, which my daddy would have never turned back on me, he passed away. But I'm just saying he wouldn't. But if he had, I would have had to deal with that. I'm not going to live no lie for nobody. Stop living lies for people. Your family, if they really love you, they're going to accept you for who you are. And if they don't, then hey, what you going to do? Because let me tell you something. You cannot be upset with people and getting upset and mad when they say, well, people don't accept me for me. I just want people to love and accept me for me. So I don't tell nobody, you know, I don't tell my mama I'm a lesbian or I'm gay or whatever the case may be. I don't tell her because I want her to be accept me. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. You, that's when you reject yourself. When you made that decision to do that, you rejected you. So you cannot be upset when your cousins, uncles, aunties, mama, daddy, sister, brother, friends, relatives, pastors, preachers, nephews, and all that. If they do not accept you, you can't get mad at them because you fail to accept yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's something to think about. I'm not going to prolong this video, but I'm coming back at you. All right? Share your thoughts. Why are you hiding? Why you can't come out? Why you can't be yourself? And those of you who have, you know, how's your life going for you? Let's talk about that. Peace.